Theme song. We're back. Much like the metaphorical phoenix rising from the fire, I walked into the surgeon's office as a cripple and walked out as a super cripple. So now I'm uh, like the reason this was actually supposed to go up last week, but had a little bit of kerfuffle, you know, wanna because I started Aaron's we, school for the rambunctious <laughs> cripple. We got one of, the, one of the uh one of the teachers bit me. Now to be fair, it was just a wombat Look, I put in a beer hat. Biting but <laughs> I think the teachers need that cultural My first ed teacher in primary school was a wombat at a hat. Ah. Like, I, don't, I don't think we should necessarily tar all wombats with the same stick. Yeah. You know, especially if they're wearing hats. Yes. So, like the things some mix a lot's babies got, we are back. So we had a, they had a little, uh, you know, a plan to do a thing and we recorded some stuff. And uh, OBS had an update that decided to untick all my audio recording settings. So that was fantastic. The one settings I... Why would didn't it do that? Used to look at? I have no clue. They they like to update and break things all along. And then they release a hotfix the next day. So like, sorry, we broke your shit. And it's like, I know you're free. <laughs> and that's the only I reason know. I let this slide. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know you're free. Damn it. Because that's just where the complaining about stops. Like, it's free. Yeah. Shit. You can't complain anything. Because yeah. I could go and spend money on an actual thing and have less fucking support. So this is the video of us playing this and not... I'm yeah. gonna have to play it again. Oh, good. So I don't have to play no, it again. we're not playing it again. We just what? We're just gonna talk over it. Oh, thank I'm fucking Christ! I'm not doing Christ. double the work, Gabe. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> We've already got perfectly fine. I know. So we footage. did this last week, and I wondered why the videos didn't go up. But I just, you know, assumed Aaron was having because Aaron, you know, what Aaron forgets to mention is he 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 didn't get like classified a cripple so much as he got his official streamer's yeah. license. Because now that you are a disabled, As are. that is that is effectively yeah, that's your license to Stream. license to be a streamer. Yeah, and now I this is it. No, it's official. You get designated streamer parking at various malls. I've got these great new nose piercings. That's I take a photo, put it on Twitter, <laughs> so you can you can understand well, I, what it is on Twitter. Yeah, Aaron's putting things up his nose, so you, you'll get those. And this is um, fucking plush Mexico or something. Am I playing maracas with a cactus in this game? No, that's Samba de Amigo. Okay. And that means sweaty friend or something, doesn't it? I think it means rapist cactus. Ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, look, there they are. Yeah, that's the rapist cactus. Ah. You can tell by their evil eyes. I think we should just, you know, if you want to be evil, if you want to do, you know, go around rubbing back stuff, you just got to paint yourself red so we know. You yeah. got to do us the service. You could do it. Just, just let us know. You just got to wear old timey burglar <laughs> outfit. <laughs> the ham burglar. Yeah, like the full, you know, just just wear that. I never understood why they wore that. Isn't that the colors of prison? I don't know, but like, I'd explicitly do that. Like, because imagine someone, people would just think it was some kind of ad or a prank or something. They wouldn't go, oh yeah, look, there's a real crime happening. If there's me with a sack with a dollar sign on it, just like do -do 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 -do, creeping into a bank and shit. And all right, like I might be, maybe I have like a bomb strapped to me or I something. I don't think you're a burglar or the Monopoly man either way, if you have sex yeah. with Well, no, but Mr. Moneybags is like a wealthy capitalist. So you're he, a dirt poor farmer. Yeah, he robs <laughs> us in, in, in a variety of different ways that we only find out via various royal commissions. And now actually that I think about it, we really should have a royal commission into Mr. Moneybags. Because how did he get so many bags of money? I believe that he held them, I think like it was mentioned in the Panama Papers. Like, that's the problem is like we, you know, normally we take a little bit out of the money sacks and build like schools with them so we weren't all surrounded by retards nearly all the fucking time. But like, these cunts just put their money sacks far away hmm. where we can't reach them. And it's like, well that's, look, you know, now you're surrounded by retards. You have to pay more for private security to keep the retards at bay. And look, I don't blame you there. That's... I mean, I'd probably do that if I had the money. I'd drive around in a big four-wheel drive that just had a fence around it. And the fence was attached to tank treads, so you couldn't stop the fence. And it'd just be... The fence would have little lasers that point inward and can tell how far the way they are from, like, my car. So I can just drive around comfortably, knowing that I'm always within my perfectly gated community. Excellent. All right. So yeah, this is Viva Piñata. The suspiciously it, much, attractive much like woman is going to tell me about books. You know, we are tasked with perfect balance of cleaning up Goodna. Okay. That's, a fa that's essentially what this game is. I think we cleaned up Goodna by just sweeping it all to Ebwavale. Yeah! It's kind of weird when they go up and do up, you know, really trashy suburbs to try to make families, trick families and stuff <laughs> to move yeah. in there. <laughs> trick, trick normal people into living there. <coughs> it's fine, just provided you don't get, like, stuck. Because they... The street we were on was, like, all housing commission. And so that's... And look, I'm not saying that housing commission people are exclusively ferals. Like the sad thing is, a lot of them aren't, and we were all just stuck there having a deal with Gabriel. Like, Gabriel, you know. the rains are here. Oh, fucking titties! Oh, it hasn't filled rained. up my maggot bin. Yes. <laughs> uh, it hasn't <laughs> rained in like four months. Yeah. 
See, we like didn't properly. We, we didn't make much rubbish one week, so we left the bin yeah, for an extra maggots. week and maggots. Yeah, so no, I was that's. Like, you, what what lesson did we learn from my fly Always hose story? Always empty the bin. <laughs> the, yeah, times. it doesn't matter if it's not even. It doesn't matter if it's not ready to be emptied. Well, it's, it's just, ready it's, to be it's, emptied. It's outside, so you forget about it. You don't think of it. Yeah. I wouldn't leave a maggot bin inside. No, that's just a. There's it a just shows up. Whenever Isn't Leaf us a fucking Zelda enemy? You know, like a lizard made of leaves. That's a. That's a Stalfos. That's, yeah. And there's lizard fos. Which Zelfos. must be. That must be some kind of Hylian suffix. There's also autistos. <laughs> Uh, it's been like man of, so it's man of lizard. I think so. Man of skeleton. I want to see if their names are the same Japanese. I have a very curious. I don't really know. Lizalfos. I mean, this is my first time not, playing. Not Lisa Koshi. I don't even know who that is. This Baron is my first time Lizalfos. playing fucking Viva Garden or whatever the shit this is. Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata. That's it. I my brain said Viva Pinata, and I said no wait, that's the fucking Maraca one. That's Samba de Amigo. Hey, Amigo. It might be uh, Amigo. You might be correct. <laughs> I don't know why, but it sounds correct. What's his Japanese name, damn it? I swear I saw it. There it Salsa is. Salsa with a gay dingo. Rizaru Fusu. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, because no, Japan just writes shit in English, but like with that weird Japanese flavor they give everything. <laughs> yeah, because they Whereas can't just, say L. <laughs> well, they can, they just don't. It's the weirdest fuck. Like, there are Japanese words with like the L's in it and shit. They just fucking, I don't know, they just don't seem to give a shit. So this is me figuring out or not whether I can like hit the lady with a shovel and take her bitchin' mask. Because I think I'd be a better gardener if I had the mask that lets me control all the gardens. Look, so far this is ticking all the right junks for you. It's got smash junk. Smash junk. Hopefully stroke uh, junk later. Uh, <laughs> no, like, no, no. You just, I've been masturbating for like 30 years. This is Stroke junk doesn't work anymore. Have you ever had one of those mass those baits where you're really far you feel really like horny and then it just hurts like a bitch because you came so hard? Yeah, like, you know, I, I smoked weed, I was a stoner for ages, and like when you're high and have like finally <laughs> 56.6 you know internet <laughs> and you can just go, I'm gonna look at porn and no one else is home, so you're just like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna look at porn. And then you look at porn, you jack off, and it's like, that was fun. And then like maybe like 35 minutes goes by, you're like, yeah, oh, porn. Porn, yeah. Like, yeah, like, is that the point where you, like, I think the most I've masturbated was like nine times in one day, which Whoa! I think, yeah, I, th I feel like that's excessive. I, I think feel that's a record. By the end, I was just doing it out of spite, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, this is where the little, like, fucking celebration maggot comes in, and he's like, he's not like the maggots that briefly took over my house. He's a nice maggot. Yeah, like, why can't things just be more pleasant, you know? Like, you'd think that, I hope that's happening. I hope evolution right now is crafting me more pleasant, unpleasant things. Because, you know, if a fucking maggot was, like, a kitten, I wouldn't kick him out of the house. Like, I'd like, like if it were just a fucking pile of tiny little kittens, just pew, yeah. I'd, I'd feed them. Just fairy maggots. Everything would be alive <laughs> if it just looked like tiny little kittens. You know? That's true. Like, other shapes are stupid, and evolution needs to fucking catch Look, the fuck evolution, up. you take out the poisonous barb in the platypus, I'll be a platypus farmer. Yeah. I'll raise those motherfuckers, because I don't want to get stung by a platypus. They're fucking. They're you weird. imagine explaining that? Oh, what happened to you? I got bit by a got platypus. Bit by platypus. Yeah, because there are years of my life where I'd have said you're a liar and don't say these things to me. It took me a weirdly long time to realize that, like, the chocolate was the health bar of the junk. <laughs> Actually, now that I say that out loud, I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> nope. At no point ever should you go. Oh yeah, obviously the chocolate's the health bar of the junk. This the shaft is still hypnotic to me the way it jiggles. Yeah, that jiggly yeah, it's shower. like have you ever held a pen and wiggled it and then moved it up and down at the yeah, same time? And love it makes it. it look like it's made of rubber. This is me realizing that I can, you know, just hammer all of this errant nature flat. Yeah, because you're doing it one by one and I'm just like, hold the button. You're like, oh, dear lord. Yeah, and like, because if you move over a piece of junk and then push A, you have to tap A and it goes really slowly. But if you hold A, yeah, so you hold A, you get like power whack, which is kind of, wasn't even very good. Like, it it's just not. Seems to, yeah, just, it's well, shit. I, just, it just makes fart. And meanwhile, you know, like, I'm feeling like Hesiod here, like, doing all the work and there's just this woman walking around. And it's like, I need you for babies, but otherwise you're a burden to I don't my think, fucking look, I don't think she's gonna farm. be much healthier. Much like the, the standard good, good ner Ian. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking... She looks she like a no lady shoes. that works at a weed dispensary. She does. Actually, that'd be fucking great. Oh, I got more fluff maggots. Yeah, if everything looked like kittens, they just, you know, nothing would be nearly going extinct. Except other weird kinds of kitten. And we've got plenty of kittens, so we don't have to worry. Hmm. I'd be better at nature than nature, I find. You know, that's the problem. This is not a lot of thought. See, this was me going, okay, I don't want to accidentally paddle my little fluffy maggot fellow there. The rocks. Fuck yeah. Once weed becomes legal, we're going to have our own strain. Keep it cushy. 
was not a bad idea, actually. Because, like, we'd be able to use you as, like, oh, yeah, look, this one. Fucking Aaron's got, like, a case of streamer spine. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, that little worm has got an erection. Ah, uh, that upsets me. No, now you've been polluted. I can't see a kitten with a boner, now I'm just angry. Like, seriously, though, if it does become legal, I'm just going to do strain reviews on YouTube. You should. I mean, yeah, I suppose there's not much point now. It's like, what strain have I got? Okay, today I've got weed. <laughs> um, it's a know. nice strain of weed. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Bevan says it's hydro, but I don't believe him. Look, you can't... You can never trust a Bevan as far as you can throw him, right? Bevan's... And I can throw Bevan pretty far. Bevan, Devlin, Beryl. These are the names of the outer suburbs. Fucking Bevan, dude. Yo, Bevan. Bevan. Yeah, Bevan. No, I, like, my Your name is a chisel. Yeah, my neighbor's dad was called Devlin. Devlin. Which I've never heard again. I would have called him Devlin Eggs. <laughs> he was like, because his wife was a Hessian bag filled with cottage cheese. <laughs> and like, I'm not. Like, I can I'm picture not, it. Yeah, I can like, I'm not it, joking. Yeah. You have to, you just. This is all going to sound very judgmental, and it is, but I'm not judging these people on the quality of them as human beings, although literally Devlin was a third person that the world would have been better off without. <laughs> Devlin. Yeah, like, okay, to give you an example of Devlin, the one time he got his kid Steven a decent fucking, like, um, okay, so the way Devlin treated Steven made me think that he was a stepdad. And then after a while, I found out that he wasn't a stepdad. And that made me really fucking fast as I slap my ass off at that. But, like, the one year he finally bought Steven something good for Christmas was, like, a legit, like, it was kind of rusty and kind of shonky looking, but it was an <laughs> operational Pee Wee motorbike. And that was fucking rad. Because. As a feral child before video games really fucking took over everything, anything with an engine was cool. So remote control cars were still really big when I was like in the single digit age range. And if you had something that you could legit ride on, fucking that, oh, that, that's the tops. Best. Yeah, that's the absolute best thing. Now, he gets it out, starts it, Steven's about to get on, Devlin <laughs> insists on having a go first. <laughs> How old is this man? This is like in his fucking like late twenties or early thirties or some shit. All right, all right. And this Goes, is a Pee Wee Fifty. Oh, it's like it, okay, it wasn't a name brand. It was an operational. But still, it's yeah, a, it was around that rocket. size. It was so around that size. For those who don't know what a Pee Wee Fifty is, it's a miniature motorbike, like tiny. I'm talking, a mini dirt bike. Yeah, like tiny. Yeah. Not like like, like a monkey would ride. Yeah, not like the microscopic ones that you see getting no. around now that you could like pick up and carry with one hand. But like, you know, there's they're just there. And so he insisted, and he, he got on it, and he rode it around until the tires popped. <laughs> and like, and I mean, like they didn't oh. just like leak or something. The tires popped. So Stephen didn't get to use it. Wow. And he never fixed the tires. Oh wow. And it just, it just sat there in the front yard of the house, just slowly getting shittier and decaying, and you know, getting wetter and rusty. Until yeah, he was just like, oh, this is never ever going to be fixed. And that was just like that was Steven's best Christmas. Best Christmas yeah, ever. Yeah, that was Steven's best Christmas. Was this fucked up fucking, um, you know, fucking little mini motorcycle that Devlin broke. Look, much like people who wander into your yards, if you you put some grass down, they change color. Now they're your slaves. That's a legit Goodner thing as well. That's why we had a dog. There's everyone in Goodner has a dog because if you don't, people will just be in your yard for some reason. <laughs> that is not even a joke. Oh, like shit. it's just you might just look outside and maybe they're just like confused. Or they're just a guy trying to get from your yard to somebody else's yard. But it's just like, oh, yeah, there's this cunts in the yard. And so it's like, all right. Well. I like how they build these slaves as residents. You see, that's what we're going to build our uh, Keep Classy pleasure cruise. Pleasure cruise, You're going to be yeah. our resident Residence. on our pleasure cruise. You're our resident patrons. And much, much like the uh, old, uh, you know, Viking is a Gaulish, you'll be down, down there rowing and we'll have a big black dude with giant red lips beating a drum. <laughs> <laughs> I love that dude, man. What is that from? Asterix. Asterix, yeah. yeah. The crow's mask dude who always beats the drum. Yeah. That was a weird comic, man. Belgian or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Belgian, the Belgian. The Gauls and... A French friend told me that the sort of dismissive term the French have for the Belgians is Le Belge. <laughs> which, Le Belge. Yeah, always, always kind of makes me chuckle. I remember reading, like, you know, because I was reading about the like, different sort of terms that the armies had for each other in World War, like, one and World War Two and shit. And, like, you know... The Germans get like Han and Krauts and shit like that. And then you read the German ones for other people, and it's just like literally the Rus for the Russians, which just means the Russians. <laughs> and like, that's what it was for everybody. Yeah. It wasn't like you didn't come up with a clever nickname, you fucking country of autistics. You just designated people what they were already calling themselves. These ones are called the Jap. Well, yeah, yeah they're Japanese. Japanese that makes sense. Yeah, 
I mean, Nip and Slope have never made sense of for me in terms of like racial slurs. I just don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be about. I mean, I guess Slope's sort of like the eyes, but like Nip. It's more of a slant than a slope. Yeah, like slant. And it's like, all right, yeah. At least, you know, at least you're trying. Yeah, they, they, they call, they, the reason they call them Nip on is because they're always just nipping on. So it's a, it's a very fucking nip. A literal thing. It's like, it's, they're, they're, it's named after the traditional Japanese hero. That was that was plagiarized off the Fantastic Four Human Torch. He used to walk out in the street, rip off his clothes, and yell "Nip on!" and <laughs> nipples would appear all over his body. So <laughs> it wasn't very popular. Because this he couldn't was do why anything. no, this was that was the comic that got horror comics banned. Yeah, it was just this guy covered in nipples, <laughs> lactating everywhere, and they were like, you know what? We're going to start a comics code before the government gets in here because we just need to take a break from creativity for a little while. Here's 400 stories of the Joker with extendo gloves. <laughs> Enjoy. Also, EC Comics will now sort of go on to become Mad Comics or Mad Magazine. See, you say EC Comics, and in my brain, I just got lift off with EC, but just a comic. No, no, I've just no, got no, him. No. The whole a comic. gritty EC reboot. A gritty lift off uh. reboot. That's what, that's what the world needs right now. I think that's something that could bring us all together. Uh, look, fuck off your little Let's worms. Let's do a remastered version of E.T., except replace him with, with E.C. Every child. That, okay, you know what E.C. is? Is literally the fucking Greendale human being, but like 20 years ah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but I'm never like, going to be able to yeah. watch Community again. It's like the larval version. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I named this one after Mary Poppins because my girlfriend made me watch Mary Poppins. Which was not a bad movie exactly, but like... Something that the original does, because it was all they had, you know, the capability of doing, was using matte paintings as their backdrops. So it's where they, like, paint like, mm. on glass, and then they shoot shit through it, and it looks, oh, look, it looks like mm. I'm fucking seeing the goddamn, you know, London. And it gave London, you know, the London that they fucking were there, it was kind of weird dreamlike appearance. Whereas, like, now, you know, you got decent sound stages, you know, you got computer graphics. You can just be in London, basically. Yeah. So the thing doesn't look dreamy. And so as a result, there's this kind of weird juxtaposition between the weird shit that is... Essentially, like Mary Poppins drifting around doing stuff. And I think Mary Poppins and fucking Pennywise the Clown are the same species. I'd, I'd believe that. Yeah, like, I feel like one... I feel like, like there's some variety of Celestial. Yeah, yeah. Or like Mr. Mixius Spitlick. You know, they're just, or like maybe like a sub-form of that. I, I'll, be ah! right I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh, look. I forgot about Hammer Dude. It's a version of Tism that works at Bunnings. Tell some Bunnings. <laughs> what are ya? You work at Bunnings. <laughs> Snob or a spanner. I'm Willie Builder. That's right, because he makes erections. God fucking damn it, I'd forgotten this. All right, we're, when I was, because I was physically playing this the first time around, and the reason this is hanging for a little bit is I'm Willie Builder, and then immediately my brain goes because he makes erections, and that upset me. Just still, and I'd forgotten it was because he makes erections, Aaron. Let me guess, oh, that you forgot fraction about of a that? second, yeah. yeah. That fraction of a second that you were away with you peeing. <laughs> was it? No, I was closing windows. Uh, make sure windows were closed. Because I was going to say, I was quick even for you, because the ah. toilet's at least that far away. Oh, I just, I've been practicing my aim. I got like a mirror up, so I ricocheted off the corner. <laughs> you are doing very well. Oh boy. So now we got worms, and now some birds and snakes are coming to eat our shit. You know, it's a circle of life, really. Yeah. You know, they, them, they, then then I take a dump on them. It's a circle of life. It's beautiful. I've always wanted to take a dump on a bird, you know, just from a pole. <laughs> How do you like it, fucker? Finding like a sleeping pigeon. Because they sleep heavy, man. You can just walk up to them. Or a curlew. Or yeah. a plover, because plovers sleep on the ground. So plovers are dicks, too, them. so they've got it coming. Yeah, because they're I would. I, I want this to happen now purely because I want to see a plover go absolutely berserk. <laughs> And just immediately attack Shit your- flying yeah. everywhere. No, just to go absolutely savage on your anus, taint, and genitals. I got, very, very, I got very- uh, Speaking of my taint and genitals, I was taking a poop earlier and I got very upset that there's a hole in my underwear right on the bottom. Unfortunately, it's too low for me to put my- like, too far back for me to put my nuts through. <laughs> I wanted a nut hole, damn it. Well, just get some scissors. But then I'll ruin a good pair of underwear. Well, they're not a good pair of underwear if there's like a- Hey, they've still got use, thank you. Is it just this, so you just got a hole where your taint is? Like right where my taint is, yeah. So you can't poop through it and you can't dangle your nuts through it. Ah, that is just I fucking know. pointless. Just wait till my clothing lunch takes off. Fucking 
Does it breathe, at least? It feels, like, it feels oh, pretty yeah. breezy oh, right now, not gonna go. lie. I mean, that's, if anything, we should start, like, you know, making all underwear like this. Because really, I just need support for my nuts and, like, just a barrier between my anus and pants, just in case. Yeah. You know, I like a certain amount of demilitarized zone, just on the off chance I shot, you know? Because if you shot into undies and it's a little bit, you can kind of deal with that. If you shot into just trousers, you're fucked. Like, you have to go home now. I shot it a few weeks ago. <laughs> Luckily, it was, it only came to the butt. It didn't exit the butt. Yeah, no. So, it, yeah. I got to the toilet quick smart. And it was you good. managed to it contain was good it. Time, yeah. It was like, code brown, code brown. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, it's poo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't. I think this is where you decided to veer left field straight into things I don't like. And we're going to probably see the... Um, no, well, I was trying to think of, cause I was going to go with like sort of puns, you know, like Harry Floppins, um, which I, 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 I do stand behind as funny in spite of what my lady friend yelled at me while I was watching Mary Poppins. That movie is not like Lin-Manuel Miranda's there and he does, cause I was worried he was going to like rap <laughs> and it, it, he sort of did, but it was kind of a very... It was barely a rap, but it was still like, I know this was your idea, you dick. Why did you have to do that? Please don't put a rap in it. You know who I'd like to see rap? Johnny Depp. <laughs> I think that would be a tragedy. Well, he just beat a domestic violence rap. That too. Um, Because I, I, you know, and I said to somebody who loves rap, I don't need rap in everything. I like cumin, don't want it in my ice cream. You know. So this is me working out that I gotta make animals root, or get like fucking hammer fucking tism to- I just don't- I look at him. I just don't like the way he walks, I don't like the way he moves. There's just a lot going on there. Like the hair sticking out the back, it's kinda like Q. You, you know, like I'm not sure what the leaf lady is trying to get me to do. And then yeah, this guy comes in and sort of just, you know, has a wank in his wank shed, and then suddenly I've got a house where worms can fuck in. And that's the circle of life. I was kind of annoyed that, like, the fucking sparrow wouldn't be my friend. Then apparently the sparrow's got to eat one of my little fucking whirly gigs. And, you know, I kind of didn't want that. I was annoyed. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna report you to Look, look how quick he's moving away. <laughs> he knows what he's done. Yeah. Actual traders should be forced to wear that. <laughs> yes! <sighs> the new... Now that you've provided the worms, they're ready to romance. All right, yeah. Fucking make my worms root. Just when you thought you weren't getting eighteen plus material this week, watch yeah. out. I know this and that fucking Ukrainian root game. I mean, I'm not expecting them I'm to see this. I'm still that that game's a fucking that made. It's just like. The chance for Steam to be actually, to have, you know, sort of really effective quality control was gone years and years and years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. So I'm not worried about that. I mean, again... As know, long as it's not a- it's, at least it's not a fucking visual novel. There's actually yeah, work for me yeah, it, you know? But again, look shit up. Go look shit up. If you buy a piece of shit game on Steam Sight Unseen, you're too retarded to have Steam. You should have Unless you're going looking for that stuff on purpose. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of the time what I do. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm in the miser I'm in the business of despair and misery, so that's fine. I do YouTube for a job. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely yeah, depressed. Yeah, you're a professional streamer now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to park in the professional streamer position right yeah. next to the door. That's, that's absolutely fucking great. That's the tops. That's the tits. You're gonna be a pro. I'll just strap cameras to me at all times. Twitch will be like, hey, we heard your back's fucked. Do you want to be a partner? Fuck yeah. Back That's partner. how it should work. That's how you should start. That's how it like work, yeah. you know, fucking, I'll, I'll start harassing them on, on Twitter. We need we need That's equal rights for the disabled, please. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a partner. It's not because I'm not funny enough or not entertaining enough, enough to get the yeah. viewers. It's it's that I'm disabled. <laughs> I've worked it out. <coughs> All right, there how we go. That's they? exactly how sex works. You and just that, have to. That shape was exactly the worm's dong. You have to get through the minefield of shit you could say that'll accidentally fuck it up. Although it's not always the guys. The other day my girlfriend said she needed me to body shame her into losing weight. And I just sat there silently for about five minutes. <laughs> She's just like, alright, look, trap. I know, I know. Just like, look, woman. I'm just reminded of that great moment from that 70s show where like, Red just goes, oh, so this is what we're going to do today. We're going to fight. <laughs> so I'm just like, you can't say that. A, I think you underestimate how good I am at body shaming people. 
I called a fat lady a fucking garbage bag full of cottage cheese earlier. That's that's just that's true. That's an old one. I you know you're not, it's not even the fucking hot newness. All right, here's my worm fucking too hot for TV. Imagine if that was sex. If you ever if you if you're ever tired of having sex, go watch Isabella Rossellini's fucking things about how animals mate. No, it it will fucking kill your ability to ever be aroused again. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know, bro. That's on screen. I'm pretty aroused. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee! Ah, I see your penis and I'm stuck! <laughs> your pinatas have made an A. After that! Done the that is some primal <laughs> shit. What's that? Ah, uh, a fucking voluptuous woman with an egg on the end of an erection is gonna fly out here and deposit your babies and it's like, man, I've seen statues of this bitch in like fucking Uruk and stuff like that. Ah yes, Uruk. That's where the Uruk High are from. Effectively. Uruk High, who do you serve? Saruman. She is the fertile crescent. I can I, the fertile I love the Uruk High, how they're spawned in a pit. A you know, lumpy pit. Looks yeah. cool, man. I want to be spawned in a pit. I want to <laughs> have a mother, you know. Yeah, you man. Bug fucking me. Lump babies. Yeah. Who doesn't want a pile of buff lump babies? <clears throat> they come out free, like, already done. You know? It's like the Uber Eats of babies. Fuck yeah, I you need know, a baby stat. Yeah, you're just like, oh, I want a kid, but I don't want to, you know... I, I want to put it straight to work. Yeah. I, I want to get to the point where it's like, I can nag it for money and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Oh, I'm here to give you babies! You sure you're not here to eat the babies? Alright, and there, it gives them an egg. And here's me figuring out that oh, I've taken the egg, and they don't seem to be too disrupted by that. Which surprises me is because it's been, you know, it's been my life experience and when you take something's egg, it gets upset with you. I tried putting the egg back in the fucking little egg hole and I'm worried about this cunt here because he's like eyeballing my little fucking whirly gigs. And that, you know, I think we missed a crucial that. thing. I think you can design your own tags. You could have had a penis on a tag, damn it. Oh, that would have been good. Well, I mean, it may as well go on this fucking thing, because all I can, you know... Oh, this is where you, I don't know. No, <laughs> stop yeah. it. Hello? Hello? Don't like. Hello? She's creepy the way she just moves at the camera. It's okay, eyes. like, I know you're too ashamed to buy a, a body pillow, but if you just hug the screen while I'm doing that, you will have the experience of a fucking Leafos body pillow. And, you know, she looks alright under that fucking, you know, under the mask. I mean, unless she's got some kind of Klingon forehead going, but I mean, you know, so what? Some my phone that attractive. Well, yeah. Who's out here licking foreheads? Because you're the weirdo. <laughs> they I hate the to break it to licker, you. Obviously. Yeah, I'm wondering now because, like, there's the you know, if there's the foot people, it stands that there might be, you know, forehead people. <laughs> Look up forehead <laughs> fetishes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Cause like, is it? <laughs> I gotta see. Oh. Oh, there's a subreddit for it. Uh, no, no, it's just an R sex. Oh. Uh, I am attracted to women with large foreheads. I wonder if this is a ne Neanderthal holdover or something. <laughs> Anyone else feel like that? Christina Ritchie is a good example of a forehead I would like. Okay, the girl <laughs> who played the little ranger in Scott Pilgrim. Remember the drummer girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she's in like some other show my girlfriend makes me watch about a newsroom. I think it's called The Newsroom. And the thing is, she had a fringe in Scott Pilgrim. And so she looked like a normal human being. But in the newsroom, they cut her fringe away, and she has got eyes that are unnaturally close together and a giant forehead. And she looks like she's- wait, 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 yeah, 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 that's it. Alison Pill. Yeah, so- What the fuck? I know, I know. What I the fucking, fuck? <laughs> I know. That is- and she, look, looks I, like, she looks like I made her in a Bethesda character creator. Yeah, and look, I say this as a human with a mong forehead. Like, yeah, I, like I've I, got a huge widow's peak. Yeah, well, I, I, I have a bit of a fringe, you know, specifically to, like, keep it clean. This was when I noticed that, like, so I named my baby worm Bobby Hill. I don't like you. And this is when I noticed is like they're all in love, and I'm like, huh? Like, does that mean the parents are gonna like fuck Bobby Hill? And then I remembered that, and then I wanted to spank the snake. And then I remembered that like there are places that get paid like twelve fucking grand to make like fucking incest porn, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know. And the best part is he's like, ah, oh, he changed the names off of Patreon so Patreon doesn't yell at him. And it's like, oh, it's convenient. So, like, I thought, I want that. You know, I want the $12,000 a month. And if I gotta say that, like, fucking, you know, me and Aaron are brothers jacking each other off, 
you know what? I've done dumber things for money. Like, I... If people you know, will, like, give us 12 grand a month to write yeah. fan fiction, fuck it. For 12 grand you know? a month, Aaron's my brother, and I'm just... Are you... Are you can, can two guys do this sort of Ooh. thing? Ooh. Ooh. Fucking cummies. What's this? Technically, the skin on your forehead is your foreskin. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> But I mean, you see what I mean, though. What's, what was her name again? Like fucking Scullomania. Allison Pill. Allison Scullomania Pill. Yeah, and it it is it's 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 just an unfortunate look. Like I got a giant head, and I look like a Nazi, so I don't shave my head. Like that's I used to shave my head. I don't shave my head anymore. Like partialism is, is sexual interest with an exclusive focus on a specific part of the body other than the genitals. <laughs> there you go. Imagine being into foreheads. <laughs> I mean, it's better than poop. Uh, yeah, well. <sighs> oh wait, wait! They've got they've got labels. Things here we go. Foot fetish is actually podophilia. Yeah. Eye fetish, oculophilia. What can you do with an eye fetish, really? You can like, lick it. Yeah. <laughs> Armpit fetish. Mask. Mascalagina. Masal. Uh, mascalagnia. Mascalagnia. Masophilia is breast fetish. That's Look, just that's again. Just that's just tits. <laughs> yeah. That's. All right, so this is where I realized, okay, get ready, everybody, with your Patreon. Do I want 12 grand in the get Patreon? Your fetish money. Yeah, I want that fucking, I want your weird horny person money right now because I'm making my worms into Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill, and Hank Hill, and I'm going to make them root. There's so no, cl no, shut the door. There's no forehead fetish. It's not specific. It's not what well, I mean. That's bullshit. I just don't think there's enough of them. Like, I think there's, like, weirdos for every fetish that you could possibly fucking have. One of my you know. friends has a pretty big forehead and it's very shiny. And I took a photo of him and I photoshopped the bowling episode of the dude <laughs> in the, <laughs> the Shino Baller. Yeah. And I was like, Arthur, have you been shining your head in the Shino yeah. Baller again? And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make Bobby and Peggy look because they're just doing it. I can name these things anything I want. And it's not like I'm making it up. That's Peggy Hill saying, come and get me to Bobby Hill. You'll notice that there's no there's no way of touching the bombs here. There's no found, way that- I found the Christmas present for my mother. King of- That's- I want that. It just that's, says, Dwight, you ignorant slut on a pillow. I don't um, know why that's the thing, but I'll have it. Well, I know Jane, you ignorant slut came from, um... Uh, Point Counterpoint from Saturday Night Live. Or something Dan Aykroyd and, um... Oh, she was in Third Rock from the Sun. Jane... Oh, I cannot remember. I think it's Jane something. <laughs> All right, now I gotta change Kanto's name to to Hank Hill. You might you disapp you disappoint me greatly with this. I don't like this. No, this is amazing. I don't know where this is going? Hank Worm Hank Hill. Okay, now the best part is everybody who's clicked on this, and it's too late to unclick it. The best part is the ad bots now know that you enjoy content that has. Hank Hill, Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill, Worm Incest. I'm going to keep saying that so it shows up a lot. Hank Hill, Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill, Worm Incest. Hank Hill, Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill, Worm Incest. Hank Hill, Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill, Worm Incest. Well you, you are going to get fucked up recommendations and ads now. Hank Worm, Bobby, Bobby Incest, Hills, Peggy. Peggy Worm. <laughs> Hank Incest, Bobby Hill, Peggy Worm. Oh, they're fucking each other! Bobby Hill and Peggy Hill are romancing. <laughs> Hank Hill is watching. <laughs> He's making sure that that boy is right. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. Yeah. Oh, that boy is in my wife. <laughs> that boy ain't right. She's happy. The incest is happy. I don't like it. Ah. Uh... That's the warm glow of knowing you make 12 grand a month off perversion. Look, there they are. They're okay. They're all right with it. Hank Hill, like, he's got the whore. Whore. Like, it sounds kind of Chewbacca-y. You know, kind of like Morrissey from The Smiths sounds like a guy yawning through a trumpet. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Egg delivered. Oh, we have an incest chud baby. <laughs> Look at her. You can lick she the knows. Yeah, lick, lick the screen now. Lick, and it's you, fine. lick the eyeball. Yeah, because this is. Look, this is for the forehead fetish people. I mean, you sure you can't see the forehead? Would a prosthetic forehead do it? Imagine if someone tried to make you wear a prosthetic forehead before you fucked them. <laughs> like, I'd be out of there. 
I'd rather you f stick a finger in my butt, and I'm not big on having a finger in my butt. But like, I'd be, you know, if you were, if, if they were really fucking hot and I really wanted this to go for some reason, I'd be like, alright, you can just stick your finger in my butt. I just found a fanfic about forehead. But, but if you're <laughs> like- It's called falling for forehead. <laughs> give me a look. Falling for forehead. Okay, but like, why? Who's forehead? <laughs> no. Okay, by Jaime and Gabe. Two people is not necessary for this. I want to know how this was. It was a cold, dark night in LA. Brendan was sitting on his leather couch drinking a beer while watching a football game. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Brendan sighed, got up and opened it. It was Pete! <laughs> Exclamation point. Hey man, what's going on? Brendan asked, doing a bro hug. Oh, nothing, other than Megan leaving me for Ryan Ross. Brendan was shocked at this information. Oh wow, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Looks like we both have a reason to hate him, Brennan said with a giggle. Pete smiled. This is why I always come to you first, man. Brendan laughed, looking down at his bare feet. I feel like that's a weird detail. He started rocking back and forth on his heels, contemplating what to do next. Okay, I added the two because of instantly, but it really says, con contemplating what do next. Suddenly, Pete broke the tension and moved toward Brendan and, and hit his lips against Brendan's. Oh man, that's like, they didn't even like, they're just like, oh, let's get, to, the, let's it, get to it. Brendan pushed him away. Whoa, man, I'm married. I can't be doing this. Pete let off let off of Brendan and backed away a couple of inches. Pete was regretful of what he did. He was just confused and feeling messed up in the hand. I'm sorry, I'm just, it's just, I don't. Pete paused and waited for a response to his skeptical words. English is not these people's first language. Look, Pete, I think you're attractive, misspelled. But Sarah could be home any time and I don't want her to catch us, Brendan said, scratching the back of his neck. Then I'll make it quick, he'd said with a seductive smirk. There's not a lot of There's mention no of foreheads. Forehead in this yeah, bullshit. like I'm here to jerk off the foreheads, you cunts. Oh, find on page, forehead. All right, well, that looks like the end of this. Um, we'll have to, okay, put a picture of that lady's giant fucking forehead up. Oh, uh, what's her face? Uh, P P Giga, yeah, Giga Skull McGillicuddy. Yeah. All right. Now as Aaron fumbles around blindly to try and stop the record, good- Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. <laughs> it expanded somehow.